welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, but more importantly, welcome to another product spotlight. <laughs> Today we are taking a look at a brand new lighting fixture, a brand new moving head fixture by ADJ. Today we are taking a look at the Pocket Pro. This is a compact, affordable moving head and this is actually the evolution the upgraded version of a very popular american dj light i know a lot of my friends have it the inno pocket spot and fun little fact if you guys watched my vlogs you guys saw that in june i went to go tour the adj offices i saw a prototype of it before it went to market pocket pro yeah this brand new light that's coming out wow this is little i don't know if we could even post it oh yeah i'm gonna erase that Shh. but now they are up for sale, they are out on the market, so you know I had to get my hand on them because I was so impressed. Let me whip out my handy dandy box opening shanks. Ooh. Here we go, let's see what's inside the ADJ Pocket Pro. First and foremost, we have a instruction manual, some reading material for you. And of course, you get a product guide. Also get a couple of extra gobos. Look at that. Can you guys make it out? You get four extra gobos aside from the gobos that are already inside. You also get this. This is an IR transmitter. You plug this into your iPhone and you can basically use your iPhone as a remote control for the fixtures. Not a fan of using this, but it's there if you want it. Moving on, let's see what else is inside. Of course, you get the actual fixture itself. We'll get to that in a little bit. You also get a power cable. This light actually uses a more Proline connection. It uses PowerCon. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with PowerCon, it basically has a little lock that you guys see here. It'll lock onto the fixture so that if you got like crazy bass going, it won't fall out like regular IEC cables. PowerCon is the future. It's a more pro connection. And last but not least, you also get a mounting bracket. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, boys and girls, say hello to the American DJ Pocket Pro! Woo! Oh, this bad boy is awesome! Look at how tiny it is! This is the American DJ Focus Spot 3Z, the one that's on my shirt. Check it out! Uh, here's a little size comparison for you guys. This is an awesome light, but it comes with an awesome price tag. This thing retails for about 900 to a thousand bucks depending on where you get it. This little guy, he's only 300 bucks. Here you guys can see a little scale, little size comparison from these bad boys. Woo. I've done a couple of videos on this fixture, but this is a 100 watt fixture and this is a 25 watt fixture. So this one is a lot bigger. This is a lot more heavy duty. This is for a lot bigger gigs. This is for, you know, small to medium sized rooms. Come to think about it, this is a great light if your clients are real tight watts who don't want to pay up. Wait a minute, Jimmy, edit that out. Don't include that in the video. Moving on, let's take a look at the actual fixture itself. Let's start right here up in the front. You have a digital display. A function display you have a four button menu like most fixtures you have the menu button down up and of course enter off to the side you have an IR sensor so you can use one of those American DJ remotes or you can use that included uh, headphone jack thingy on the back of the fixture you have a coolant fan you have a power con input DMX out and DMX input on the actual head itself you also get a manual focus knob all you do is just twist it to focus in, focus out. On the other side of the head, you have a screw there, and that's actually to replace your gobo. So all you do is you take a little Phillips head screwdriver, you twist, you'll hear a little pop, and then you can get inside of the fixture. There you'll be able to see all the gobos. Don't mess around with that too much. Just get in and get out and lock it. Very simple to switch out your gobos. Always make sure that it is unplugged and get in and get out. You don't want to start messing around with the motherboard or all those cables in there. And that's pretty much it as far as the physical features. What do you say we, uh, Power con these bad boys up, plug it in, 
boom. And let me DMX these bad boys as well. So like with most fixtures, you have a couple of ways of using these bad boys. You can either run them on auto. There's a couple of auto programs in these bad boys. You can run them sound active. I'm a big fan of sound active. Or you can DMX these bad boys. This one is set to slave and this one is set to master. It is time for the official sound active test. Ready, set, go. And of course, like I said, you can DMX these bad boys. So I am going to hook up my American DJ Airstream DMX. They don't have a patch for the Pocket Pros because they're brand new lights. They just came out. So you're going to have to patch them or you could use the NL Pocket Spot Profile. You have two DMX modes in these bad boys. You have an 11 channel and a 13 channel. I ended up making the profile myself so I did patch in a 13 channel one. I am all patched in. What do you guys say we shoot off some fog? <laughs> all right, now we should be able to get some Nice beams, here we go. Are you guys ready? In three, two, one, let there be light. Woo! So as far as colors go, you have white, red, orange, yellow, green, UV, blue, and pink. For those of you guys who don't know what UV is, UV is basically like a black light. It gives you that glow and the dark effect. Irish Spring Soap glows in the dark, so I brought out some Irish Spring Soap and yeah, it looks like it's glowing. And aside from those solid colors, you also get some split colors. White and red, red and orange, orange and yellow, yellow and green, green and UV, UV and light blue. And last but not least, you also have light blue and pink. I love splitting the colors because you get really crisp beams. I love the way the beams look. When you have a little bit of haze in a room and you shoot those split colors across, it looks so freaking awesome. And like I mentioned, these fixtures have gobos. Seven gobos to be exact. Let's take a look at them now. Here you go, you have the first gobo here, and you have gobo number two, which are a couple of stars. I like those bad boys. Gobo number three, gobo number four, gobo number five, number six, number seven, and of course, you also have the actual spot itself. All right, now let's talk about storage. How are you gonna carry these bad boys around? This is the American DJ F4 Par bag. This is not too expensive. I think it's like 20, 25 bucks. This is what it looks like. Let's get inside of it. Let's see if I can get a better angle here on the camera. You get three dividers. We only need one. See guys, there's Velcro inside. And let's just go right in with these. Put them in long ways. There you have it, done. And you also have pockets on both sides so that you can store DMX cables, power con cables, all that good stuff. American DJ Pocket Pros. These things are freaking awesome. I am so happy that I finally got my hand on these bad boys. Let me know what you guys think of the American DJ Pocket Pros. I'm gonna leave some more information down in the description of this video. Feel free to check it out if you guys are curious about these lights. As always guys, leave any questions, comments, and concerns about this video down in the comments below. Please be sure to like this video if you liked it. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you really want to be my friend, don't forget to turn on that bell.
you can be notified next time I do a product spotlight video. Let me know what fixture you'd like to see next. I would love to feature it on here for you guys, so leave any suggestions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Signing off, DJ Bar. Peace! Stay awesome, bros. If you want